to exercise our faith to believe that what he said, it is so. Amen. Now, now, I don't know tonight what your specific and particular needs are, but I trust tonight that you came expecting something. You are not here because, well, uh, there was a service scheduled, amen, but you have a need amen. that you know God can fill. Amen. You have a need that you need God to fill. Amen. Some of us have been to doctors and doctors have given us all kinds of reports and some of us are popping pills left and, and uh, uh, right to try to make sure we can keep things going Amen. in a certain way and to excuse pain from our bodies and all that kind of stuff when God is a deliverer. Hallelujah, God Jesus. is not like the Excedrin or the Advil. Amen. It's not to remove it for just a moment of time, but he can deliver us. Period. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe tonight that it's our part to exercise our faith to believe God for it, despite what the doctor yes. says. Yes. 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 It's not yes. like we minimize the doctor. Yes. We just understand they don't know it all. That's we understand right. they can't do it all. That's but the right. God that I'm talking yes. about yes. can do yes. what no yes. other power can do. Yes. It yes. is so. Yes. Yes. It yes. Is so. yes. Yes. My God. And He's done it for others. Oh, yes. mm. His yes, record Lord. is impeccable. Amen. 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 I, I was just yesterday, and, and some of you may know what I'm talking about, but yesterday as we were over there before I, mm. uh, or, or right after I, I prayed over the food, I let folk know you can come if you desire prayer, you know, for loved ones, sick, and various things. Yeah. And, and different ones came to me, some in the cafeteria, some outside the cafeteria. Could you pray for me? Could you pray for my grandmother? Could you pray for this one? Yes, yes, exercising yes, faith. Yes, yes, and then one yes. lady came up to me uh, in the cafeteria, older lady. She says, I, I, I want you to do me a favor. I said, okay, keep talking. She says, I, I want you to pray for me. Say, they say my bones are getting thin. Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus. And, and there's a, a, a disc in my back that uh, deteriorating. And, mm. and uh, they said, you know, she wouldn't be able to walk all that kind of stuff. She's in pain. And she asked me, I said, sure, I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. I said, you believe God? Oh, yes, I believe God. And she goes on to tell how her husband had a heart attack and how the doctor said he wouldn't probably come home. And if he did, he would mm -hmm. never walk again. And she said she looked at the doctor. And I don't recall the specific words she said, but it was on the, the wise of who said you don't know everything. God has the last word. Mm. And you and I have got to believe God no matter what the doctors say. It is so. Yes. Bible says all things are possible to him that believeth or him that believeth. And we got to believe no matter what it's been like for somebody else. It may have been a life sentence and they had to do a life maintenance of drugs. But that's not everybody's story. There's Amen. somebody that they said it would be a life sentence, but it was not. There would be life maintenance of drugs, but there is. Is not. Amen. They're totally delivered. To Jesus, that. Jesus, Amen. Jesus, Amen. Jesus. Amen. And if we can furnish yes. the faith, yes. God can furnish the power, yes. and He can cause the promise to manifest. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And so tonight, I've come, Amen, believing God. The Bible says that He confirms His word with signs following. Amen. You and I need to be able to see the truths of God's word lived out in our lives. Amen. 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 When we're sick and we get prayer for our sickness, we ought to be able to see ourselves healed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I, I, I'm just going to touch on a few passages of scripture and then um, we're going to pray. Um, and, and I just want to encourage you, be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And whatever he's saying to you, do it. I'm, I'm uh, mindful right now of the scripture found there in Luke chapter 8, and and uh, you don't have to read it, but I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up in um, verse 47. In verse 47. And, and when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was immediately, how she was healed immediately. Uh -huh. And he said unto her, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee well. Go in peace. 
So Jesus speaking to her did not declare to her, I healed you. He declared your faith Amen. have made you well. That's what made you whole as it were. Amen. And the Bible tells us that all things become possible for us if we can believe and if you will, if we believe. And then we read on and it says, while he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. Mm. You and I got to know today that there is a <laughs> devil that don't want us to believe that healing is for us. Amen. Don't want us to believe that it still can, can manifest, that the situation, he wants us to believe it's gotten so far out of hand until this is just the way it is. We might as well give up our hope. We might as well give up our confidence. But I'm declaring to you tonight not to cast in your faith, not, not, not to throw your faith away. My God, you, you and I, it's our part to believe God no matter what's happening. Amen. Yes. And so yes. when, when this person comes and, and declares to Jairus that she's dead, it's no use in even, you know, wanting Jesus to come any longer. Mm -hmm. Bible says Jesus speaks to her uh, or, or speaks when he heard it and he said, fear not, mm -hmm. believe only and she shall be made well. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. She shall be made well. And when he came, <coughs> To the house, he allowed no man to go in except Peter and James mm -hmm. and John and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her. Mm -hmm. But he said, weep not, she is not dead, but sleeping. Mm -hmm. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. Amen. This scripture does not, if you will, deny that she was dead in the natural, but the Lord Jesus says she just sleep. Amen. My Lord. Amen. And if you've ever observed, and we have observed people who have transitioned on many times, we have looked at the house they've lived in, and we say, it looked like they're sleeping. Mm. Jesus says, she's just sleep. And then, then notice, and he put them all out and took her by the hand and called saying, made arise, and her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded mm -hmm. to give her food, and her parents were amazed, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Yes. So here we find the Lord Jesus, he, he, there's some folk that's, that wasn't believing, he said, hey, you don't need to be here. Mm -hmm. I love you. When, when we have a healing service, folk need to be standing in faith. That's right. Amen. Right. It's not the spectator's time. It's not for, for the in, you know, entertainment session. Amen. This is a time when we come in together and we agree together by faith that what God says he will do, he will do. Yes. Amen. Yes. We, we agree together. Amen. We Oh, God, help me in here today. As we stand in faith, we see the power of God. And one might say, well, wait a minute. Isn't it just your favor? Isn't it just a person's faith? Well, I find when I look in the scripture that when Achan had partaken of the forbidden thing, all of Israel suffered because of his violation. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The place of the commanded blessing is at that place of unity. And when we can stand in agreement together in faith, Knowing that God can and believing that God will, then we can have what we say. Yes, yes, yes. We can have what we say. And so she was delivered. When I look at the prayers that the Lord Jesus prays, they're not long prayers. Amen. Amen. We're in a habit sometime of praying long as if that's what gets the breakthrough. But that's really not it. When you look, if, if long prayers were the criteria, I believe the prayers of Jesus would have been longer. Amen. Amen. In this particular passage we just read, he just said, made arise. He just spoke a word, hey, glory to God. And she arose. Yes, yes. Her spirit returned back to her when he just spoke a word. Amen. And then we look over, and this this will be one of the, the last passages that I think I'll, I'll reference tonight. But we look over in John's gospel in chapter uh, 11. And um, this is where uh, Lazarus mm -hmm. 
has already given up the ghost, as uh -huh, it were, uh -huh. and he's laid in the tomb. Mm -hmm. And Jesus comes, and Mary and Martha, hearts are heavy, and the folk, you know, in that area who loved Lazarus, and, and their hearts are broken, their spirits are crushed, as it were, and they said, if you would have been here, everything would have been all right. Mm -hmm. Listen, too late with man is not too late for God. All right. Amen. It is not too late for God. Amen. And so, anyway, uh, Jesus spoke to him, and, and I, I'm just kind of touching on a few verses. Um, verse 23, Jesus mm -hmm. says to her, thy brother shall rise again. Mm -hmm. And Martha said, uh, uh, I, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. In other words, he was saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know he's going to rise again then. Yes. And Jesus responds to her in verse 25. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. Mm -hmm. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believeth thou this. Mm -hmm. And then we find him to pray in verse 41. He had commanded them to take away the stone. Yes. And yes. Uh, um, as they rolled away the stone, the Bible said Jesus lifted up his eyes mm -hmm. and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I know that thou hearest me always. Uh -huh. But because of the people who stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Uh -huh. And then in verse 43, he cries out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Yes, yes. We have power to command. Amen, amen. To decree. Yes. And many times we exercise the power to petition in terms of request. But we don't always exercise the power and authority we have to decree and demand, to command a thing. My Lord. Amen. My but Lord. tonight we decree and we command healing Thank in this place. I, I do it in Jesus' name. Amen. And so I uh, want to pray for those tonight. Some of you, no doubt, have some matters going on in your body, mm. and um, our God is a deliverer. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, we're going to prepare to uh, make make a line right here, and and let me tell you something. When when you receive your your healing, and 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 the Bible talks about how the lepers were healed. Mm -hmm. There were ten lepers that came to Jesus. And he healed all ten of them. And he told them to go. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, as, as they went, mm -hmm. they were healed. Amen. Yes, There's yes, times yes. when the healing don't, doesn't just show up automatically, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen That's anyway. Right. That's right. Amen. It, it's just like Mark 11 when Jesus cursed the fig tree. And he said, from here, from henceforth, no man will eat of it anymore. The tree still looked at green, though it was really dead. Amen. And it wasn't until they returned from Bethany that they seen it was dried up from the root. Mm -hmm. And you and I have got to know that even though we, we might still feel whatever it is we were feeling, that doesn't mean we don't have our healing. We need to declare it if we believe we had it. Amen. Amen. It is so. Amen. It is so. And so right now, my God, uh, uh, glory to God. A song is, is coming to my mind. The song say, I was healed by the wound in his side. Amen. I was healed by the wound in his side. All right. I was healed by the wound in my Savior's side. I was healed by the wound in his side. Yes, oh my yes. God. Pastor, if you've, already, if you've already prayed about something in your body and you believe God has healed me, do you still come up? You, I, 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 I'll say this. I, I'll say this. Everyone need to be persuaded in their own mind. Amen. All right? There's times when we can pray about things and we believe God. It's a good question. We believe God in it, while at the very same time, we really aren't sure. Amen. We, we really aren't sure. We, we think and and so forth. I'm just saying we need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. So if if you, whoever you might be, are, are stirred to come for prayer, then you come. Mm 
Amen. But let's come believing. Amen. Let's come believing. There's times when uh, uh, our breakthrough comes through multiples praying. Amen. There's other. There's some things you deal with alone. Amen. There's other things that's done with multiples, two and more. In fact, when Jesus sent out the disciples to heal and to set free, he sent them out two by two. When he went and healed, he had his boys with him. He wasn't standing alone. The disciples were there with him. Amen. And so there's something about that power of agreement that we find in the scripture. We embrace that truth. Amen. Amen. And so right now, uh, I don't know who knows that song. I was healed by the wound in his side. I was healed by. telling you, I've been praying and fasting about this service. I've been believing God for this service tonight, for God's power to manifest in you tonight. Your desire for prayer is one. Amen. 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 It is so. It is so. Um, I'm appealing to you now to exercise the power in your tongue in agreement with God's plan for your life, God's plan for your children. You also grew up in a house where you were taught the things of God, and yet you went another way. And, and that's a whole lot of our stories, a lot of our stories, that's how it went. And as you know from personal experience how God turned your situation around. You might have taken some bumps and bruises on the road, but thanks be to God, you got on the right road. He turned things around for you. God loves your children more than you do. Proof of it is that in all they've been through, he protected them and they're still here. Amen. And so I want to encourage you to envision them delivered. 
We're going to speak that thing over their lives today. We're calling them out of that bondage tonight. In Jesus' name. For our God is a deliverer. The Bible declares that the, the children of the righteous are going to be mighty in the land. Amen. Just going to ask you to lift your hands up before the Lord. Just join hands. Touch hands with you now. Glory to God. You have power in your tongue. And, and it's your part to begin to declare, my children are whole, totally delivered. Amen. Hallelujah, I see this Jesus. deliverance Hallelujah, blessing Jesus. working through the generations. God not only did it for me, but he's doing it for my children and even my grandchildren Jesus. that might be found. Yeah. And my posterity, Jesus. my yet unborn. We speak over the unborn. Yes. Yes. Hello. Thank you. It is so. Hey, my God. Father, in Jesus' name, we just speak healing, wholeness, and deliverance right now over Sister Trudy's family. Lord God, everyone's bound in any kind of addiction and bondage. We call them free tonight in Jesus' name. And we command the devil himself to lose his hold on their lives in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. It's a celebration. Her children are set free. Hallelujah. 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 We bless God for the liberty that we have in Him. The Bible says, He who the Son is set free is free indeed. Amen. Amen. And I'm thankful to God that they can't be satisfied to do the same thing. They're not going to get the same result. My God, it's going to be like the flattest highs they've been having. They might be calling themselves getting high, but it ain't feeling like it used to feel. It's not All doing right. for what it used All to right. do. We call them deliverance. We call them free tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is so. Glory. Power, power, wonder work in power in the Amen. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Stand in agreement with you already in faith. Just want me to agree with you in faith in these things. Amen. That's what we do. We stand in faith together. Just lift your hands up before the Lord. Amen. The song is said. Let the lifting up of my hands be as the evening sacrifice. In other words, as I'm closing my day, God, I just close my day giving you glory and I'm giving you praise. I'm thanking you and I'm blessing you. I'm declaring you a God of all. God, I'm declaring and surrendering myself to you. The call for me to make it through the night season. You have to bring me to a new day. So the lifting up of my hand is as the evening sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Yes, Blessed be the power, name of the Lord. Father Jesus, power, Lord, we just bless you now. I stand in agreement with my son, Lord God. It's in the now, prayer. Those just things that is about that utter, Lord God, concerning his family, concerning their bodies, I, I stand in agreement. I call them healing, home, healing, 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 delivered, and set free now. In Jesus' name. In the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, of the Lord, 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 there is healing, healing, wonder work in healing. It's in the plan, just plus a plan. But God's going to give you wisdom. Because I, I, I sense it, I swear, there's a, you know, I wonder if I'm doing this right. I'm, God, I'm not clear on this. You're trying to do it right, but you don't know if you're doing it right. God's going to give you wisdom on that, on what? The thing is, I want you to do it the way he wants you to handle it, the way he'll have you to, to, to navigate it so that you're able to go in real faith and not just be question mark like, Lord, should I be doing this or really should I be doing that? Amen. But God's going to give you wisdom on how to navigate the situation you find yourself in. Amen. Hallelujah. In the oh, my God. The Lord's door. The Lord's door. The Lord's door. The Amen. Uh, when the Lord opens a door for us, it's a door of something we desire, and, and the door is opening for you. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. 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 Amen.
Okay? Your body is going to be like that. Joints? Yes, yes. Pain? Believe God's able? Amen. Lift our hands up to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Take your hand, put them on your hip. All right, now go and lift them up. Right now. Amen. You ever have some hurt in the back of your neck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. But deliverance is in the house tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Deliverance is in the house tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tonight is your night of freedom. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Tonight is your night of freedom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I speak healing over your body now. Yes, yes. In Jesus' yes. name, from the top of your head, from the sole of your feet, I speak healing and wholeness, new mobility, without the pain, without the discomfort, Man. without the swelling, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I speak strength to your mother's body now as you stand in proxy for her. That the nerve endings are gonna, gonna it, it's gonna begin to click. It's the synaptic connections are gonna work better in the days ahead, and it has worked in its recent past. Amen. Her confidence is gonna grow. Her confidence is gonna grow. She's not gonna be scared and as timid about some stuff. Amen. God is doing it right now. In Jesus' name, we declare these Come on and give God some praise. Power, power, wonder working power in the blood. Amen. Go in peace and go in praise. In the precious blood of the Lamb, there is healing, healing, wonder-working healing in the blood of the Lamb. There is healing, healing, wonder-working healing in the precious blood. Of the land. Like, what, what's going on your body? Power, back. power, Amen. wonder Amen. work in right. power Amen. in the blood. I, I believe it too. I believe the land. Amen. We had surgery. And uh, power, power, it's going to be a while, right? Power, wonder work in power in the two. precious Amen. blood of the land. Okay, seven, eight months. Amen. Well, I believe God accelerated healing. Power, wonder working power. Accelerated healing. Round the, the day blood. 12 to 24 months. We, we can see that thing happen in less than that. You know, seven represents a completion. You know that? And uh, nine months. And I believe God that you're going to walk without that pain and discomfort that you're experiencing now and, and, and even my God, hallelujah, that the weather's not going to bother you like the weather's been bothering you. Somebody know about that, y'all. When, when the weather changes and that there are certain things you, some have experienced in their bodies, but I'm telling you tonight that God can deliver where it doesn't matter what's happening with the weather, you can still be good. Amen. If other people are good, you can be good too. Amen. Hallelujah. Just hold your hand up before the Lord. My God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm just going to lay my hands on your back right there. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I wonder work in power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder work in it's in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, oh, wonder work. 
It's in the prayers. There is healing. There is healing. One. It's in the blood. To the things of God. We got to cut that away. Amen. There is healing. One word. It's in the precious blood of the And as we grow in that sensitivity, Hallelujah. also comes. That confidence comes. Amen. My God, hallelujah, we just go with him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Come on, let's bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, well, he can handle the gross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. For yourself? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You can do that. Amen. The Bible says we're workers together with God. Amen. So He's not going to do it all. We have a part. And um, I believe God not only to give you the wisdom, I believe it's no, no. things you really know already, but to give you the discipline. Amen. Sometimes Amen. it's not a matter of us knowing what we should do, it's a matter of us doing what we should do. Amen. 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 But I speak that over your life now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we're dependent I speak of pain on you. Right now. Jesus, in Jesus' name. In fact, I'm encouraging you to mark this night, mark this date on your calendar. We're dependent on you. And monitor what happens. Right now, I speak of pain interrupted in your body. Question where that pain is not going to be able to just run like it's been running. It's getting interrupted. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're depending on you. Depending on you to see us through. Amen. We're going to cover that matter in prayer. There are some things that they have to do, and it's not going to change unless they do it. And it doesn't matter how much anybody prays. Bible said there are some sins you need not to pray for. That's Bible. Now, he knows what those things are. You with me? Um, we stand in faith for them as you're doing. So you're doing the right thing now. We trust God. They'll do what they need to do in agreement with His purpose and plan. In agreement with His word. Amen. Depending on you, Jesus. We're depending on you. Depending on you. Amen. Amen. You got it. The Bible says. The Bible tells us that we have to walk in this word always. But every aspect of our lives, what hurts us sometimes you as believers is we embrace true. certain parts of the word you know and the other parts we give mental assent to, but we're not walking in it. And, and, and you're very familiar with this passage that talks about casting every thought down, taking it, taking it captive to the obedience of Christ. Amen. And so there's things we have to cast down. The other piece of it is we have to be careful what words come out of our mouths. Amen. We, we we declare whatever God says about us. Amen. We declare his word and we got to be careful not to live in fear. Um, the Bible says, the jokes and the thing that I fear most has come upon me. We don't want to live in fear that this might happen to me or this might befall me. Amen. We declare ourselves all healed, very productive in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, he attacks us in our vulnerable states many times. Uh, if, if we're thinking through the counsel of Scripture, after the Lord Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, it wasn't until then that we read about the devil coming to him to tempt him. Now, some of us might have figured, hey, if we were going to tempt him, we would tempt him before he started fasting and spending time with God like that. But that's not what he did. He waited until he was in that fasting time because also what was going on at that time was in his body that was a weakness that came to his physical man because he had not been taking nourishment. Thank and so the Lord. devil will come against us many times when we've gone Thank through something Hallelujah, and we've had some tough time in our life. Hallelujah. Sometimes he'll come right then, but that word of God still prevails. Amen? Come and so we just the word of the Lord over our situation. Amen? And, 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 and so we, I my God, I, I just, I just, uh, in my mind, I'm going to get you kind of of a, of a rubber band and just keep bringing things back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to go on. Now they have to come back. Amen. You know what I tell folks sometimes when, when, when I get something? I said the train left the station, but it'll be back. <laughs> Amen. He'll be back. Amen. You don't let yourself get Lord beset God by forgetting. Almighty. I find out everybody forgets. Oh, yes. Somebody ought to say amen. Everybody forgets. Children forget. Little ones, the middle ages, they all forget. So, so you and I can't let the devil bring that to us like because we forget and we must be sliding off the edge a little bit. The devil is a lot. I, in fact, I, I got this edge held down right here. Amen. This is on lock. Ain't no sliding up. Amen. Lord you all join hands God. together. Lord of God is almighty. Amen. 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 You want some more? The Bible says, Lord said, Lord not, not, She in that word. The Bible says, let your head lack no oil. So she, she, she want a little oil that. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> my God, my God. Amen. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Give me another dose. Glory to God. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's it. My God. And let me join hands with you all as well. I'll join hands together and then with a hand, join my hand. All right. Yeah, we can rest that. Come on and bless the Lord. I see your growth through this. All right. Lord, don't take me all that. my soul. Father, we just thank you now that you hear our prayer. And you answer
that cough has been going around. In fact, I know somebody who's had that cough for about five years. Um, I know someone else who have had that cough for years, and they've been to doctors, they've been to specialists, they've been to herbalists, and uh, all kinds of folk trying to get delivered, and they still have it. Doesn't seem to be as bad as it once was, but they still have it. But I'm going to tell you something right now. God's going to deliver your husband. He's going to use you in the process. I want to encourage you to get some oil. Mm -hmm. Anoint your hands and put them on his neck mm -hmm. each night mm -hmm. and call him whole and deliver. If he'll allow you to do it, God's going to deliver him. God's going to deliver him. Now, these people have gone to the doctors. Mm -hmm. Doctors haven't been able to do anything with that yet. Mm -hmm. But the master physician knows. Yes, Amen. And God want to use us in the process. God has a habit of making man look good. Folk look at us and they think we did it, but we understand it's only the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. And so I just seen it just clear of laying hands, both hands, anoint your hands, lay your hands on his, on his neck. Amen. And you declare him whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Woo. Glory. My God, you, you see, I, I I know God can heal the backs. I, 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 when I was when I was 16 years old, when I was 16 years old, my my back kind of what they call went out. I, I had all kind of pain. I learned at that time that your fingers, everything is connected to your back. Look like when you blink your eyes, everything is connected to your back. Somebody who don't know what I'm talking about, you just don't know. I know what I'm talking about. And, and they sent me to multiple doctors, and the doctors said they couldn't find anything. I had unlimited physical mobility. But I know I didn't have it. I knew I was hurt, and I couldn't find a comfortable position to lay in, to sit in, to stand in. Everything hurt. It didn't matter what position I was in. There was always pain. But today I'm pain-free. That's over 40 years ago. Amen. And I give God glory. I give God praise. Are you hearing tonight? So I know God is able to deliver. I know God is able to do it. That's why I don't have no doubt about you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank My God. Lord. And so right now, I just speak healing Thank you, Jesus. over those joints. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. You, Full recovery from Thank the surgery. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Full recovery to the back. Yes, In fact, yes. more than recovery, more than recovery. I speak Thank renewing Thank you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. I speak renewing. Renewing. Hallelujah. Renewing of mobility. Thank Renew you, Jesus. Renewing of functionality. Yes, Lord. Renewing yes, Lord. of strength. Yes, renewing of cartilage. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' yes, mighty name. Yes, Re Jesus. Renewing. Creative yes, renewing yes, of yes, discs. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. The sponge going back in the disc yes, that they don't go flat. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And for your husband, Thank you, Lord. I speak deliverance over him now in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. I, I don't know who it is. Somebody has some pain in their hand. Somebody Thank has some pain in their hand. I don't know who. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. In her hand, mince pain in the elbow. Um, Hallelujah, God, Jesus. God is a deliverer. Amen. If that's you, Hallelujah, amen. Jesus. Come on now. Get your healing. My God. Oh, yeah, elbow. Uh -huh. That ain't what you came for, but, but that's included. Uh huh. Yeah, well, the Lord is a deliverer. Okay, okay, okay. Amen. Deliverance from faulty thinking and. and uh, uh, we want to all overcome that. Amen. 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 Everybody got to touch a faulty thinking. Amen. Amen. But thanks be to God. He's a deliverer. Amen. My God. My God. Ah, Jesus. Faulty thinking hinders us from walking in all that God has for us because we're always thinking something that's not correct. And that's what the devil wants us to think. But we determine we will have the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Have the mind of Christ. My Amen. God. Amen. Amen. In fact, in fact, I, I want everybody in here tonight to say this with me. I have, I have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. I have. 
I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. And I walk in the plan of God for my life. Amen. 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 My God, yes. I stand in agreement with you. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Get some more here. Now, I do want to say, uh, just so that everybody oh. understands, you know, the oil really doesn't heal anyone of anything. The oil is used symbolically, if you will, of the anointing of God. It is... Uh, it symbolizes many times the presence of the Spirit of God. And, and so we anoint that. Well, it's also a part of the command that we are to anoint folk yeah, with oil. Yeah. So Amen. we are acting in obedience to God when we do it. Just so, Amen. you know, if anybody's wondering, you can understand why we do what we do. Yeah. To me, it's not enough to just know what we do and why we do it at our church. We ought to understand why we do it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You really believe God can help you with all that thinking? Amen. I, I agree with you. So it was your thinking and, and what else? Your elbow. Oh, yeah, that's already healed. That's already healed. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. Father, we just thank you now that you are a heart fixer, a mind regulator. And we bless you. The thoughts that align with your purpose and plan, I call that to be so now with consistency in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay, okay. Amen. You sure you want that? Be careful what you ask for. Amen. But he's able, right? He is able. He is able. You feel like it's time, right? Well, the Bible says that you're free. The Bible says you're free. There's nothing that finds you. And there should be no shame to your desire. Amen. Amen. I encourage you to exercise the power in your mouth to declare that he comes. Every need is met. Amen. No stress, no strain, no struggle. Amen. The perfect mate for you, the God sent mate for you. And your sisters. Amen. Amen. My God. Now, it is so. Now, just remember this. Now, he may go to another church. I think I better get this in early. <laughs> he may go to another church. But the Bible says he leave his father and mother and come to his wife. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> hey, glory, 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 glory. Put the stamp on that right Amen. 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 Glory, glory. Amen. Oh, glory. Oh, left hand. The left hand is commonly the hand that's given in marriage. It's the hand that's closest to the heart. It's the hand where covenant comes and is represented through the rings, if you will. It wears the rings. And so right now, God, I just thank you that you have already prepared a hand to go in her hand, Lord God, that they be able to be united in marriage. And so, God, we agree with your timing and your plan, and I call him forth in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen, um, I, I do say to you, um, as you already know, um, as you honor God in this thing, because he's going to show up. Amen. He's going to show up. And he's going to still have some hair. I see some hair on his head. No, 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 no. Amen. I see some hair on his head. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I see some hair on his head. Thank you, Lord. In fact, he's, he's about this tall. Thank you, Lord. He looks taller than I am. Look taller than what you are in your boots. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And he's not fat. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God is. Well, no. Amen. I see it. I see him in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Amen. 
And I just want to encourage you to stand in a holy place. You see, sometimes it's easy to kind of get overcome through the appreciation, the communication, the excitement of it all. And I just want to encourage you to stand in a holy place. God will honor your sacrifice. Amen. 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 I know someone personally who, who um, they were, they, they, their life was a whole lot different than yours. They were all in the drugs and what have you, and, and, and the Lord saved them, mm -hmm. and they just were so overwhelmed that he would save them. They just was to no end in appreciation and gratitude to God. And, and, and a time would come. They wanted a, a spouse, too. And they met somebody that their heart went towards. And this person had been a pastor himself. Mm -hmm. And they purposed, they would not even kiss until they got married. Amen. Amen. And their report is they did not kiss. And I've known them, I was at their wedding, and known them since their wedding, and they're still in marital bliss. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God rewards your sacrifice. Amen. Sometimes we try to slip under the wire and try to, you know, make things happen, but God will honor your sacrifice. So I just want to encourage you in that way. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. That's good for everybody in the house. Come on, let me just give you a hug. You got a hug. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Okay. <laughs> Well, we know there's nothing too hard for God, right? You keep getting viral infections. Why you keep getting them? Hmm? <laughs> Quit getting them. Just stop. Right now. Declare Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Declare I ain't getting no more. Enough already. Amen. You think it's enough, right? Well, then declare it. Amen. Amen. We miss so many times. We really do have power. We really do. Amen. And so we, we call you resistant to all the fire. Amen. Amen. A lot of folks can resist it. I believe God is such that yours can too. Amen. Amen. Declare that thing out of your mouth. Enough Hallelujah, God. Jesus. I take it on no more though. And even though the symptoms come, you have to denounce it. You can't take the mm. thought. We have to be careful. The Bible says, take no thought. Amen. Amen. Thoughts come, and when we word them, we just took them. Amen. Amen. There's some things we don't even need to say. Yes, yes, yes. Because in saying it, we have taken the thought. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So even though the doctor said this is what it is, we don't repeat it that that's what it is. Mm. Because when you repeat it concerning you, you take the thought. Is this is making sense to anybody. Mm. Amen. 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 So there are some things that the doctor may say, but we don't take the thought. We declare we are whole. We take on what the word says by the stripes of Jesus. I'm healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm standing in faith now for the manifestation of my healing. I'm standing in faith for the manifestation of my wholeness, my recovery, my renewing, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Uh, blessed be yes. the name of the Thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, just uh, when it comes to that, uh, one thing our, our Bishop Hilliard was saying, mm -hmm. you, you, you could say the report, the doctor report said, if you're saying, if you're giving it up to someone else, you tell them what's going on. Well, right but now, don't, don't it to yourself. Right, right now, you, you ain't got to say what the doctor said. Yeah. You ain't got to say it. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't got to say. Mm -hmm. Glory. Let's lift our hands up before the Lord. I remind you that the Lord loves your son better than you love it. And even though you don't know where he is, God does. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And uh, I'm glad that um, God is watching out for our children. Yes. We yes. have yes. no clue where they are or what they're up to. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm glad he watched out for mine. Amen. A whole lot of times I didn't know where they were or what they were up to. And Amen. if I would have known. 
Uh-oh. Yeah. God didn't let me know all that. <laughs> Amen. And so there's times there's things we shouldn't know, but God's still able to deal with them, even though they may be out of our sight and out of earshot of us and all that kind of stuff. So we want to rest in the fact that God's watching out for our children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, also, yeah. I, I say to every parent, you want to speak the protection of God over your children because the devil wants to take them out, and we declare yes. they are protected. Yeah. Amen. Their, yes. their, their lives are protected. Amen. We Amen. declare that over our children. Amen. 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 My God, because as long as they're, they're alive, there's hope. Amen. 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 I don't care what they go through, mm -hmm. as long as they're alive, That's there it. is hope. There is Amen. 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 My God. And then you said that faulty thinking. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm so glad that, that there's a desire to rise up from that, that we all want to have the mind of Christ. Yes, yes, yes. The right. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot more joy you're going to experience and peace. Because, see, sometimes you can be a worry ward. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you worry and worry and worry. And then you start worrying other people. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, and that's not God's will for you. God's will is that you be at peace. Mm -hmm. People who are worried are people who are not at peace. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't be at peace and worry at the same time. That's right. And so God wants you to have his peace. Jesus died on the cross, and the Bible said he's given us his peace, and he didn't give it as the world gives. And, and so he wants us to be able to rest in him no matter what's going on in our yes. lives. All right? Things may get seemingly out of balance, but thank God, God's still in control. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank he can you, balance Lord. that thing right on out. And we're going to be made the better through the situations we mm -hmm. experience in life. Romans 8, 28 says, and we know all things work together for good yeah, to yeah, them that love yeah, God yeah. and to those who are called according to his purpose. So even though I never would have campaigned for this, I wouldn't request this, and it's befallen me, I know God's going to cause this thing to work out for my good. I'm not going to lose it. I may not even like what I'm mm -hmm. dealing with right now, but I know the end of this has got to be good for me because that's what God said. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And it gives us a peace in going through the midst of our storms, our challenges, facing what we call our problems. Amen. But God's will is that we're being made better through them. Amen. All right. All right. Hands up before the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Just go and start doing this year. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, Lord. hallelujah. Thank you. My God. That's symbolic of a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank That's you. That's symbolic of a joy. Thank you, Lord. 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 Freedom from those things that's been yes, binding yes, you in yes. Jesus' name. I speak freedom now. Uh, Drew, come here. You just, this your sister, so you can do it. Just put your hand on the belly. Amen. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Out of your belly. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Every need met in the bundle of supply. Amen. 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 God, my God, my God. Yes. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Talk to me. Okay, so my feet are very tough. My feet. Also, having mm. done, I just want to say to be well with that. And I, I'm looking for a refreshing or new zeal in my spirit. And it's just the Lord's will. A man that truly loves the Lord. Who says and does love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, you want one of them too? Amen. If it's his will. Okay. <laughs> if it's his I don't want to take up anything that's not the Lord's will. Uh, okay. <laughs> Right. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. So you want it if he wants it for you. Yes. Okay, if he doesn't want it for you, then you want no parts of it. No parts of it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And you say your feet. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. What's going on with your feet? I have no spurs in both. Okay. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is. Mm. Okay, I want you to sit down. Thank you. Just to give eggs out. I am the God. Father, 
that he let thee. I am the God, your healer. Amen. I sent my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the God, say, I am the God that healed thee. I am the Lord, your healer. My wife had eczema from her head to her feet. I sent my word, and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. You are the God. You are the God. But God delivered her. That he as I was anointing and rubbing her down and, and praying, speaking the word of the Lord over the her, Lord. God totally healed her from a top of the soles of her feet. And, and uh, uh, a few times over the years, and we've been married you four years. You sent now. your word, um, and in that first year, and God healed, healed that first my year, disease. And she's been totally delivered, and then. Probably, you I don't know, are maybe the Lord, in, a little extra my healer. Over my finger and, and you to are the God. In. I started anointing her down, praying. You are Jesus. the God. <laughs> so God that is healed me. And some things will have to be quick. Some things is you a process. You are the Lord, he still does my healer. Amen. And, and, uh, so it was your feet. <laughs> You sent your word so that, that you're going to heal my disease. No matter what the doctor says, you are the, the Lord, my Sometimes healer. The report, the you sent your word, you sent your word, and you healed my disease. We have to believe the word of the Lord over our lives. You Amen. are so the Lord, my healer. You sent your word, say. You sent your word, and you heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Amen. 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 God has it for you. Um, we, we have to be careful not to get in a hurry for things God has for us. Sometimes God will speak a word to us that he has things for us. And then we wonder, was it God or was it us? Was it just our desire for a thing? Or was God really talking to us? And the other challenge for us sometimes is we get in a hurry to try to make it happen because now we're really looking out because we know he's around here somewhere. Maybe that's him. Maybe that's him. Amen. And you, you, am I talking to anybody? Amen. 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 And we have to be careful about that because there's also the counterfeit. Amen. 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 So, so, and the counterfeit, if you know anything about counterfeit, it looks a lot like genuine, mm -hmm. though it's right. not, not genuine. Mm. Amen. And many have bought into the counterfeit and found out it wasn't what they thought rather than waiting on God and getting the genuine Amen. that really has the value. Amen. All right. So I, I just want to encourage you to be patient. Know that God can do it. He knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. And um, you're attractive, young lady. Um, Amen. And there's and I, I've seen God work on you. Yeah. When you came here, you were something else. Yeah, still is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, you were. You were something else. And I, I've seen you grow in the things of God. I, I've seen God mold your life. I, I've seen your joy go to new levels. Amen. Amen. I, I really have. I, I've seen your spirit become so so sweet. And it's not yes, that Lord. it wasn't here before, but now you're able to release it. And yes. Are able yes. To see the beauty yes. that Amen. perhaps was locked up down on the inside. Amen. 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 And God isn't through with you yet. No. Amen. Amen. And then for that zeal that zeal that you desire. And this may be somebody else's story. We're going we're gonna to get out of here. I promise we won't do a shut-in tonight. Um, there may be some others in here, and I've heard this from someone else, 
who say, you know, I, I want that zeal back. I, it's like I want the running in my feet. I want the clapping in my hand. I want the praise in my heart. All that stuff, I want it again because I'm, I'm kind of not quite feeling I have to push to get to church and, and all of that. you got to know that that's something on you. That's not on God. You see, sometimes what we do is we allow things to kind of kind of uh, uh, get on us and stick to us. Stuff that should beat up and roll off, we allow it to stick to us. And, and, and Wednesday night I was here talking, and I think it's the most beautiful illustration, um, and I, and I want to apply it here. Uh, the, the story is told, and we're going to pray. I, the story, now, some of y'all said, well, I'm standing. Well, I've been standing the whole time, so y'all be all right. Um, if you feel like you need to take a seat, go ahead. But the, the, the story is told of a man who had a goat, and the goat fell into the dry well. It was a goat. He, he loved his goat. And the goat fell into the dry well, and he wanted to get his goat out of the well. But everything he thought to do and tried to do, nothing helped him get his goat out of the well. And so he figured rather than hear the goat, you know, bad and, and, and his voice get weak and rather than, you know, see him die there, this long agonizing death, he figured what he would do is I'll bury the goat alive. So, so he began to take the dirt and throw it over in there because there was no other way he knew how to get the dirt out or get the goat out. So he just figured he'd bury him. Well, the dirt would come and hit on the goat. And, and, and as the goat filled the dirt on it, he would shake and the dirt would fall off. And the guy just kept throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing. And the, the goat kept shaking off until as he shakes it off, now he's stepping on the dirt that was thrown in there. And enough was thrown in that he was lifted up high enough that the man could get him out. Amen. And I'm declaring Amen. today that in life things get, get thrown on us and if we aren't careful we'll let that stuff weigh us down but it's the will of God for us to shake it off Amen. and that stuff lift us Amen. to a higher level rather than bury us under. Hallelujah. Are, are you with me? Amen. And, and, and so we have to be careful not to let the devil bring all kinds of thought to our mind. Sometimes we figure certain ones aren't there. Things aren't going certain ways. I mean, there's all kinds of things we process through. And if we let mm -hmm. that stuff stick to us, it will bind us. It will bring us down. Mm -hmm. But I encourage you today, and that's each and every one of you, you got to be like the duck in water. Let that thing beat up and roll off of you. Don't let that stuff get in your feathers. Amen. Amen. Don't let it get in your feathers. My God. The Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so we had to tell ourselves. Uh, and, and perhaps you all, if some of you have done this before, I encourage you to do this. Begin to think back over all God done for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you begin to think back over all God done, I promise you, if that don't put running in your feet, there's very little that will. When we think about all God done brought us through, all how could I not give him my best praise? How could I not be at the, 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 the tip of my seat in anticipation for what he's going to give? How could I not want to praise him? Amen. When I think about what he's already done and not get overcome by what I want him to do and forget about what he's already done. Amen. Amen. Just lift your hands up before the Lord. Why don't you put your hand over your heart? Put your hand over your heart. Amen. And declare, my heart, my heart rejoices in the Lord, in the Lord. My, God, my God, with great rejoicing, with great rejoicing. in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. Lord, thank Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you now thank for this Lord. one, oh God. Thank I thank you, you for new joy and new vitality, new yes, vigor, new yes, excitement, yes, dear yes. God. And Lord God, I also thank you now for ideas, God, yes, of, of yes, what to yes. do and how to do. I thank you, God. Listen, I know the Lord's been speaking some things to you. And, and showing you some things and you having sometime a little question about when, how, what, who, all that kind of stuff. God's going to give you greater clarity in that. Amen. Those ideas have been downloaded from above. God's given you some ideas that's been downloaded from above and it's downloaded for such a time as this. So I just want to get uh, uh, remind you to get busy and, and you know, Thank go you with God Lord. with what Thank he's saying, all right? You, Amen. You cannot afford to be overcome by what people are going to think or what you think they're going to think or how you mm -hmm. think they're going to respond. You just got to move with God. Mm -hmm. God gives you more on your way than you, he does when you get started. Jesus. All right? Jesus. Amen. Has it been speaking some things to you? Yes. Showing you some things? Yes. Amen. You go for it, all right? Amen. Hallelujah. Stand in agreement with you. Thank you.
Amen. So I said, I want a double portion. Oh, I'm oh, standing, oh. I'm standing on your hands and back for uh, Mary and Martha, the twins. The Lord told me to get out. I'm Hallelujah. Back pain, and I think knee pain. I don't know what else, but they're always in pain, but they still push their way. And so they're still faithful. So the Lord told me, you get up and you stand in the gap. Amen. I'm standing up here for Mary and Martha. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Minister Eddington, if you would, you just come on in. And I want you to touch your wife's knees and touch her back. Amen. She's standing Hallelujah, the Jesus. Okay, now touch her back. Amen. And then put your hand on her stomach. Right? Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you now. For this yes, that stands in yes. We stand in agreement, dear God, yes, for Lord. their wholeness yes. and for recovery in yes, Jesus' in mighty Jesus. name and even renewing now. Yes, Lord. New strength, yes. new vitality, yes. new vigor, yes. new flexibility. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. New yes, Lord. Dear God. Yes, Lord. Stamina. In the name of Jesus and new joy. And we bless you for it now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, for healing over my body, just the pain and the aches of every day. And just my the thinking, the faulty thinking. Faulty thinking. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right. Well, praise yes. the Lord. Um, I, I, I believe that, that all of us have had some thinking. Thank God we're delivered from now. Amen. But at one time, it was the kind of thinking we embraced. Right? Amen. Amen. Um, the doctors made a report concerning you, and I, I won't give word to it. But you know what it was. I believe that God can reverse mm -hmm. the curse. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I believe God can totally deliver from what the doctors say will be a lifetime experience. Yes. That it will not be a lifetime experience for you. You will not have to live on maintenance medicine. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so, in that it is important how you speak. It is so important how you speak and, and how you allow others to speak concerning you. Yes. Now, everybody's not going to agree with it. Everybody's not going to see it. They'll say, hey, come on. I mean, own up to it. I mean, you know, be a realist or face the truth and all that kind of stuff. But the truth is what God says. Yes. It's, it's not necessarily yes. what things look like. That's the truth. Amen. Many things look one way. That doesn't mean it's so. Mm. All right? Mm. And so I, I want to encourage you in that. Begin to declare that thing over your life. Declare it over your body. God. Even when you have those times when it looks like that what the doctor said is so. We still declare God's word over the situation. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Can you do that? Will you do that? Healer. Amen. You need to be consistent in it. You need to be consistent. And you I said well, my word, generally speaking, and I but you got to bring that thing up if you're not. All right, amen. So for your body, I am the Lord. For your thinking, your healer, your whole life situation. Amen. I am the God say. Amen. All right. We already talked about the mind. Amen. We already talked about that. We that heal and the. I am the and, and let me just share one thing before we pray. When it comes to faulty thinking, sometimes we know stuff isn't what we should be embracing in our thought life. And it's easy to kind of stay in that zone because it kind of feels good because we feel like, you know, the natural man just feel like, yeah, I, I have a right to feel like this. But we know according to the counsel of God's word, it's not right. And you and I have got to have the discipline and the heart for God enough to say, forget it, no, I'm just going to do it the way God wants me to do it. All right? Amen. Amen. Lord, my healer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You sent your word and you healed my disease. 
the word comes to my mind about you glory are the Lord, and my in the context healer. that I'm thinking of the you word are the glory God in my mind. Say, it's the you whole life. So it's the not God. a part of slice. Amen. But the whole that life. So we're believing God for his global purpose. You are the Lord. My healer. I reach up like you trying to grab something. You yes, glory your God. word. Hallelujah. And you heal my disease. Thank you. You are the Lord. My healer. You sent your word, say. You sent your word. And you heal my disease. You right now, are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word, say. You sent your word. Amen. And you heal my disease. You are the Lord. Amen. Come on and give God some praise. To be watching. You Amen. Remember the faith process, the blade, the ear, full corn in the ear. Remember our God is a miracle worker. There are some things I that it just changed from then on. It's altogether different. Healer. There are some things that's progressively you are the different. God Amen. And uh, you are let's let's believe God. God. Let's look for it. Amen. Let's look for that it. Let's look for it. Me. Amen. I, I want to say to you, you uh, concerning Lord, your request, don't give up. Healer. Don't give up. It's some stuff that's long standing, it's well you entrenched. And, your and, word and, and, and this is something we have to be mindful of. My disease. Some things have you been set so Lord, long, they don't become healer. unset very easy. You sent your word. Say, Amen. You Some things don't become unsaid very easy. But we don't give up. We look up. We rise up. We go up. You in Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody get blessed in the other night? Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to be listening and hear the testimonies. Listen and hear the testimony about your husband. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Stuff happened. Amen. 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 Somebody needs something. That's, that's me. That's you. Hallelujah. Amen. I speak healing to that need right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I know somebody, I don't know who it was, but this past week, somebody was having some serious pain with that back. I mean, Pain was shooting right in that area. It looked like some muscles trying to catch. Who was? Amen. I, I know it. I know it because I, I felt it. I said, hey, mine. So I stopped praying for whoever it was. Amen. I, Amen. I, know Amen. Name put on it. I just knew I wasn't going to take ownership of it. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> the Lord said, cast your burden on him. He didn't say on Glory. me. Glory. <laughs> Amen. 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 We just bless the Lord. Tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for each and every one of you in your respective place. Let's believe God. Amen. Let's believe God. Um, I do uh, encourage you to continue to cover the bereaving family. The wake will be starting in about 20 minutes over um, on Hudson Avenue there. And so. Uh, for those that's, that's going over, you know, we're releasing you in time. But also for me, it wasn't about us staying here for a certain block of time. It's just to be here and follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, in fact, there may be somebody here tonight who has a testimony. Um, if you have a testimony you want to give, I want you to know you are at liberty at this time. Amen. Somebody might have had a witness in their spirit about those things we prayed about or whatever. You can feel free at this time to share if that is your desire. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to share something to um, the two that desire husband. Um, 34 years ago, I had my three children, Jonathan and Carla, and I had I was dating doctors, lawyers, 
But I began to realize that when I came into the Lord, I said, I want a husband, I want you to send me a husband that love you more than he love himself. Amen. That's what I be. That was my prayer. He has to love you first, then he would know how to love Donna Sydney Amen. and me. And so that began to be my prayer. And unknowingly, um, when I first um, saw him in church. He was in church. I didn't like him. <laughs> did. That's usually. And, um, he came and sit beside me with the Bible, and I got up and went to the um, other. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> that, that's not what I asked him for. I know. I asked him for this doctor I was dating, uh -oh. and I wanted him. Then I was so that he was not the one. And so the Lord told me that he was the one, and I said no. That's not. And I began to name the things that he doesn't have. And the Lord told me, I bless whom I will bless. Amen. Amen. And, to, and um, I even put out a fleece because I had read about a fleece. And I put out a fleece <laughs> and <laughs> it happened. I said, oh, no, this is true. But even as time went on, and it was no long-term engagement either. Um, we went, we had to go to a convention in Syracuse. I didn't want to drive, and they wanted me to go. And so they said, well, Mr. Eddington needs a ride there, and let me drive you and the girls there. And I'm like, I'm not going to ask him that. No, I'm not. But they kept asking me, so I did, and he drove us there. And, yeah, you go your way now, and I go my way with my girls. And then after a while, though, then they asked me to put on this play, which I put on a play, and he helped me with the play. And we began to talk like that. And then after a while, um, I mean, in April and by um, October, we were married. Bless God. Yes. And, so, and it's been, you know, I'm just, I just thank God when I look back, I said, well, I'm glad I didn't marry who I wanted. Uh-huh. Amen. I married him because really the tests and trials that we've gone through with the kids, it had to be someone that loved God. And even though things were happening... He did love God. Things would happen, and he would yeah. tell me, because he would say before I was, he would tell me, God is blessed mm -hmm. us. How can God be blessing when our water heater just broke and the water bed just leaks sprung? How are you were talking about God is blessing us? Well, the blessing is on its way. Hallelujah, anyhow. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. So, yeah, so I did pray that prayer, though. I wanted he had to love God more than he loved Himself, Amen. Because I believe then he would know how to love me and my three daughters. Amen. And I just want to um, tell you about, and we're still together. Amen. 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 Thank you for sharing that. A lot of times we have a preconceived notion of what that special person that we want to settle our lives with, what they look like. You know, sometimes we want them tall, dark, and handsome, and oh, yeah. amen. See, she said, oh, yeah. Um, you know, we, we have our criteria, so we want them light-skinned, and, you know, they make so much money and work certain places and all kinds of things. Um, but God knows the perfect mate for us. Amen, and, amen. And we can never pick better than God picks. Amen, amen, amen. He searches the heart. Yes. Amen. And uh, so just want to encourage you yes. to uh, be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, follow his lead. Uh, I believe they're happy campers today. Amen. Amen. Four years of history in marriage, and it wasn't necessarily a long courtship, but I submit it's a God thing. Amen. 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 And he still loves the Lord. Amen. 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 And she does too. Amen. 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 And, and, and I'm glad that you, you, you know, you, and she mentioned about fleecing, and, and some of you might wonder, what she talking about fleecing? Well, Bible talks about how Gideon had wanted to know God really talking to him in a thing. And so he laid out this thing that's called, in the, the scriptures called a fleece, but it's a piece of fabric, and it was laid on top of the grass. And he wanted that in the morning, the dew would be on top of the fleece, and the ground underneath be dry. So that morning, that next morning when he got up, the fleece was wet and the grass around was wet, but underneath the fleece was dry. Mm. And then he thought about, I don't know how this thing happened automatically anyway. Mm. I don't know if that's how it happened if I didn't say nothing. Uh -huh. mm. And uh, it's like, God, I'm, I'm not trying to anger you, but I, I want to know, is this you? Mm -hmm. So then he says, okay, God, let the fleece be dry. 
and underneath be wet. Uh -huh. yeah. So the next time he comes out, the fleece is dry on the top and all underneath is wet. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he knew, wait a minute, God is in this. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. And he was able to go ahead and Israel got deliverance mm -hmm. from Midianite oppression mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he recognized God. And there's yeah. times when we're really not sure, is it us? Is it God? Is that our wishful thinking, God? What is it? Give me clarity here. Mm -hmm. And she, she shared about that fleecing. And um, I'm not telling you to fleece God, but if you want to be sure and there's no other way you know to be sure, then you do whatever you need to do to be sure. Amen. 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 Better to get it right the first time. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we're getting ready to go. Uh, was there any other testimonies, announcements? Uh, okay. Uh, yesterday... I had a whole lot of things mm. going on, uh, and a headache had came on. Mm. I'm talking about. I've never really had a headache in this magnitude. And um, my children prayed for me. Bless God. And God, he, he worked it out right then. Thank and then, you, then it came right back, though. Mm. And I said, no, I'm healed. I just, I just felt my healing, you know. And I, I told my, because I was telling my son, like, sometimes... It takes, it's a process to the healing. So, you know, I'm healed already. Mm. And so y'all keep your faith. Mm. But just understand, it takes, sometimes it takes, uh, uh, I have to go on mm. it and then it'll manifest. Today, I'm free of it. Amen. So his hand, and I still cast him down. You know, Bless God. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Bless God. Amen. Bless God. It's like the lepers, they were healed as they went. went. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to. Release you all so y'all can win and be healed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Upon our feet, as we rest upon our feet, we're going to close with a word of thanksgiving. Father, we honor and thank you that you would love us like you do, beyond our ability to fully comprehend the depth and the breadth of your love. Thank you for what you have already done, God, in the lives of these, your people. Thank you, Father, for their faith. Thank you for your power that's alive and active in this day. Thank you, God, for the reports that will abound mm -hmm. to your glory and praise for what you have done. And we give you glory and honor. Now I speak your protection, your peace, your presence, and a praise in the lives of these, your people. And we also declare provisions over them in Jesus' name as they go. And together we say amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. amen. All right.